ten great players when in trouble. Ten great players when in trouble. Ten great players when in trouble. A time comes in a person's life when your the most desperate need of your life is for God to answer your prayers. A time comes in somebody's life when you need a connection from heaven as fast as you can get it. A time comes in somebody's life that you either have a divine intervention or you are embarrassed. In Psalm 50 verse 15 Psalm 50 verse 15 Some awesome things are going to happen here this morning. Psalm 50 verse 15 If you are there please say yes. Because it's important that you understand what we are saying here this morning. It says, And call upon me in the day of trouble. And there is a glorious promise. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. To find verse 15 of chapter 50, can you read it loud? Can you read it again loud and clear? Shout it again loud and clear. Everybody has a problem. Everybody has a problem. If they don't have a problem, maybe he's a problem himself. Or he has to live with a problem. Everyone has trouble. The Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. That is, the righteous has trouble. You cannot travel the road of life without pitfalls and obstacles. Life is a journey. It's not a hundred meters race. When somebody will say, get on your marks, get set, Go. And in one minute it's over. Life is not like that. It's like a journey. Trouble affects everyone. Trouble does not discriminate. Trouble does not want to know your age, your creed, your color, whether you are rich or poor, whether you are learned or you are ignorant. Trouble is a stark literate. And trouble is very, very disrespectful. Trouble is very disrespectful. They say the rich also cry. So trouble has no respect for the rich. The first time they brought a little girl of five years old to me for prayers and they said she has diabetes. I was crying. A small girl, five. The other time they brought another boy of six or seven, they said he has hypertension. I said, how can this small boy have hypertension? How? That's why I'm praying with anger for somebody here. That those powers that do not want to see you around shall be terminated by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for somebody here. That battle that has been pursued you since you were a boy or a girl. And right now they are even refusing to let you go. By the time we end this service, they shall be totally disgraced. That amen is very weak. Trouble does not discriminate. Troubles everybody. Job tells us, the man that is born of a woman is of few days and it is full of trouble. The day of trouble comes upon every man or woman at some points in their lives. But that trouble is a signal that your life is a threat to some powers. You cannot buy your way out of trouble. That's why the Bible says, freely ye are given, freely ye give. Anywhere you go and somebody is promising to help you buy your way out of trouble, is a liar. It's like those people at the Yungo Market. He has a a, a, a small pot in his hand. And I watched him carefully. He was wearing a ragged shirt. I was wearing bathroom slippers. And I was screaming in the middle of the market. 
O gun so yere O gun so yere Medicine for having a sharp brain He is selling medicine to give people sharp brain He has bathroom slippers on He has a ragged shirt Oh yeah, there were people queuing there to buy the medicine to make their children's brain sharper. I pray that foolishness will not kill us in Jesus' name. You cannot buy your way out of trouble. Ah, come and buy anointing oil. It's five thousand dollars, like they are doing now. It's a lie. That oil will carry no power. Come and buy anointed handkerchief. It's five thousand dollars. It's a lie. So you can't buy your way out of trouble. A trouble-free existence is a fraudulent dream. And this is what we should understand. The Bible knows all this. The Bible knows that troubles and problems are the price you sometimes pay for progress. The only place specially reserved as VIP seat for those without trouble is the cemetery. Sometimes what a man needs to get ahead... It's a powerful enemy. Your enemy is actually your helper. Your enemy sharpens your sword. Your enemy develops your skills. Your enemy makes you to understand yourself better. Call upon me, he says. Call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will hear thee, I will answer thee, and I will and you glorify my name. So trouble and prayer are twin brothers. Because prayer is mostly the voice of men in trouble. Now there are prayers and there are prayers. There are some prayers you can pray and everyone will close down all activities and run to you. There was a prayer a man prayed and Jesus who was moving, a, moving away could not move. Jesus had to suspend his activity to attend to that prayer. And there are some prayers Jesus did not even bother to wait. We want to go into the scriptures now. I want to pick out for you ten great prayers you can pray. If you keep praying them every day, whether there is trouble or not, you develop immunity and you barricade your life. If it happens that you are already in trouble, praying these prayers. There is no way you will not get a breakthrough. I see somebody here this morning. The Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to your temple. Prayer number one is in Genesis chapter 32. Verse 26. Genesis 32, verse 26. Book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 26. And he said, Let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. This was a prayer of Jacob. It was because of this singular prayer point we now have the name of Jacob as God of Jacob in the Bible. Before that time, Jacob was in a mess. He knew that he was not being blessed. He knew that blessing was far from him. He needed the blessing of God desperately. And one day he had the opportunity. He saw the angel of God passing by. And the battle began. You are not going away. I will not let you go. Except that blessing. There is a prayer that gets hold of God. And refuses to let God go. Moses prayed that kind of prayer before. And God said, Moses, let me go. There is a prayer. I can hold God and say, God, you are not going. So I will not let thee go except thou bless me. It's a prayer of deliverance and blessing. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Say, my father, I will not let thee go except thou bless me by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. That is the first prayer. Makate setende ke yabo shandaraba. In Jesus' name we pray. 
it was this prayer that Jacob prayed for seven hours from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. One prayer point. The beauty of prayer because you may be praying and it will, look, it will look as if there is no visible answer coming. It's as if those prayers are not doing anything. It's because you do not understand the mystery of prayer. Look at this pulpit before me here now. If I give you a hammer, I said demolish this pulpit. It's not possible for you to demolish this pulpit with one blow. You will do several blows with your hammer. Each blow you are giving is weakening the thing. Each blow you are giving is zapping its power. Each blow you are giving is like you put a termite inside. The termite is eating it from the inside. Unfortunately, when some people require just three more blows, or even one more, they give up. And the situation, the enemy says, they have given up, they are giving up. They are giving up, they are giving up. They quickly reinforce. The thing was made with wood before. The enemy now makes it with iron. So that it will be so, so difficult now to dismantle. That person, listen to me over there. That spirit of discouragement that has been affecting your prayers. I bind it and I cast it out. In the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. That is prayer number one. Prayer number two, you find it in Exodus chapter 33. Exodus 33 verse 18. Exodus 33 verse 18. Exodus 33 18 says, And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Those of you who came for some Wednesday service some time ago, we discussed the Shekinah glory a lot here. Oh Lord, show me thy glory. It's a prayer of glory. A prayer of, a prayer of glorification. If regularly prayed, anywhere you go, you advertise the glory of God. Is there anybody here today who wants to experience that glory? Because when Moses experienced the glory, he now had to wear a veil. His face shone brightly. We never read anywhere in scripture that says, and Moses was sick. Glory of God will take care of that one. Can I have somebody say, oh Lord, show me thy glory. In the name of Jesus, let your voice roar like thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. Are you following me? How many prayers have you covered now? What is the first one? Can we say it together? What's the second one? Number three. Find that in First Kings chapter three. First Kings chapter three. These are prayers people have prayed in scripture, which you can adapt to your life. And get the same results they got. First Kings three nine. First Kings three nine. So give therefore thy servants an understanding heart to discern between good and bad. Give unto thy servant an understanding heart to discern between good and evil an understanding heart to discern between good and evil. This is a prayer for wisdom. A prayer for an understanding heart. Immediately Solomon prayed this prayer. The Bible said the Lord was so impressed and now gave him things that he did not ask for. A prayer that gives rise to things you do not even ask for. Can you say, Oh Lord, Give me an understanding heart to discern between good and evil. When you keep praying that kind of prayer, anywhere you are, you're able to know whether this one is bad, this one is good. This one is telling you lies, this one is telling the truth. Have an understanding heart. You become a man, a woman of wisdom. 
There are two keys that can get you anything you want in this world. The key of wisdom, the key of power. Those two keys will get you anything that you want in this earth. I'm praying for somebody here that the Lord will give you an understanding heart that will mesmerize your enemies and promote your love. Let your amen roar like thunder. I'm trying to be slow this morning because I want you to get this prayers. Because this is not a theoretical, nobody is preaching theoretical sermon to you now. It's something I want you to put down and put it to practice. Start practicing it. Prayer number four. In First Chronicles chapter four. First Chronicles chapter four, verse ten. First Chronicles chapter four, verse ten. A great prayer indeed. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, "O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed." And enlarge my coast. That prayer says, O oh Lord, enlarge my coast. It's a prayer of expansion, a prayer of multiplication, a prayer of spreading, a prayer that what is in your hand should grow. A great prayer indeed. Can you shout it and say, O oh Lord? Enlarge my course in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shout it loud. Something is happening here this morning as I pray this prayer. Master In Jesus' name we pray. What is the first prayer? What is number two? What's number three? And what's number four? Oh Lord, enlarge my coast. Oh Lord, enlarge my coast. Oh Lord, enlarge my coast. It's a great prayer indeed. Great prayer indeed. They say that there are three levels of blessings God promised to bless the works of your hand God promised to bless your basket God promised to bless your storehouse three levels the works of your hand the basket, the storehouse the works of your hand there is a limit your two hands can take right? just a little bit that your hands can take if I decide to put gari or something in your hand now, there's a limit your hand can take. If I decide to put pieces of meat in your two hands, there's a limit those hands can take. But somebody with a basket will collect more than your two hands joined together can collect. But then there's a greater blessing. Somebody with a storehouse. So when somebody, your own blessing is just the work of your hands. And you say, oh Lord, enlarge my coast. You can be promoted to the basket level. Basket level, you can feed yourself, feed others, help others. If you bring a basket here with meat now, you can maybe give to 50 people, 100 people, but you can't feed everybody here. But when it's a storehouse, then you start to bless people. I decree upon the life of somebody here, the God of heaven shall enlarge your coast. In the name of Jesus. Say, Oh God, Allah, enlarge my coast. In the name of Jesus. Enlarge my coast. Prayer of expansion. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray that to be a lot in Jesus' name. Prayer number five. It's in Psalm 68 verse 1. Psalm 68 verse 1. Psalm 68 verse 1 says Let God arise And let his enemies be scattered Let them also that hate him Flee before him 
The fifth prayer is, Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered. It is a prayer of dominion. A prayer of dominion. In fact, this is one of the greatest prayers in the whole of the Bible. Because when God arises, those enemies, no matter how strong they are, they have no option but to scatter. And anyone who prays this prayer on a regular basis, no matter what conspiracies are organized against you, they will scatter and fight it out. It is this kind of prayer that makes the enemies to kill themselves. Makes the enemies to fight it out among themselves. I see somebody here this morning. The Lord Jehovah your God shall arise. And your enemies shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Let your evil rule like thunder. Prayer number 6. It's in 1 Kings chapter 18. Verse 36. First Kings 18, verse 36. First Kings 18, verse 36. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their ass back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell. The fire of the Lord fell. Go to verse 24. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God that answereth by fire. Let him be God. So the sixth prayer is, O oh God, answer me by fire. Can I have somebody saying that? It is a prayer of victory. And that's why sometimes in Mountain of Fire, you find us adding fire to our prayers. Fire burns. Fire is powerful in movement. Fire has penetrating power. Fire too is mysterious in action. Fire is aggressive and militant. Fire is highly focused. Fire is hot. Fire does not compromise. Fire is very confrontational. Fire has dominion power. Whatever it goes to, it takes over. Fire has no respect. Whether you ask, you ask the fire to burn ants, to burn elephants, to burn cockroaches, no respect. They say whatever goes up must come down. The law of gravitation. Fire has no respect for law of gravitation. Fire consumes. Fire melts down. Fire dries up. Fire cooks. Fire can fumigate. Fire can purify. They taught us in science that matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. Fire does not fit into solid. Fire does not fit into gas. Fire does not fit into liquid. It, do, it disobeys the law of matter. That is why when there is a stubborn problem, the answer is fire. Say, so, oh God, that answer it by fire. Answer me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that I want you. The God that answered it by fire. Answer me by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer number seven is what you find in Second Kings, chapter two, verse fourteen. Second Kings, chapter two, verse fourteen. Second Kings two fourteen says this, and he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he has also smitten the waters, they parted here and there. Elisha went over. May you have access. May the door open unto you. This seventh prayer is where is the Lord God of Elijah? It is a prayer of access. A prayer of access. Prayer to give you access. 
Prayer when the road is blocked. Prayer when the doors are closed. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And he appeared by fire. What is prayer number one? What's number two? What's number three? What's number four? What's number five? What's number six? And what is number seven? Can you shout that loud? As the prayer of access. Prayer to give you access. Prayer to give you access. Eight. Prayer number eight is found in Mark chapter 10. Mark 10 47. These are prayers that got to result. And they are still as potent as they were. Mark 10 47. Mark chapter 10 verse 47. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out. They didn't say he began to talk. Not he began to speak. He began to discuss. No, no. He began to cry out and said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So, the eighth prayer. O son of David, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. A prayer of mercy. Mercy is required when you are guilty completely. There is no other way out. You have to appeal to his mercy. A great prayer indeed. All of us are in need of God's mercy. Prayer number nine is found in Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. These are prayers which result. That men have prayed before in scripture, and in many situations there was instant manifestation. Acts chapter 4, verse 29. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thy hand to heal, and the signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaking where they were assembled together, and they were all through with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. The night prayer is, O oh Lord, behold their threatenings. It's a prayer of report and petition. You are reporting them to God. Say, so, Father, look at them. They are threatening me. Say, so, Lord, behold their threatening. O oh Lord, behold their threatening. Can I have somebody shouting that? Shout it again loud and clear. Shout it with a loud voice. So when you report your enemies to God like this, heavens take over the battle from you. Oh Lord, behold that threatening. They pray this prayer in chapter 4. By chapter 9, God already dealt with Saul. who was threatened and threatened and threatened. And God struck him down from his horse. Made him blind. And converted him. Your enemies shall plan your celebration. Just like a man who wanted to kill Mordecai was the one that planned his celebration. Your enemy shall plan your celebration. The tenth prayer can be found in John chapter 3, verse 8. I've explained this to you before. If you want more information, you can get this CD or the tape. John chapter 3, verse 8. The wind blew it where it listed. Thou hearest the sound dialogue. But canst now tell when, whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Then in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9, 1 Corinthians 4, 9, says this, For I think that God has set forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we have made, we have, we have made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels and to men. 
that final that number 10 prayer which is a great prayer indeed is oh lord make me a mysterious wonder a mysterious wonder that is make me just like the wind the wind is a bulldozer the wind is invisible the wind is mysterious in action when you begin to pray this kind of prayer you become as mysterious as the wind when you begin to pray this prayer when men begin to look down on you it is then you begin to shine when you begin to pray this prayer when men say that you are finished it is then you will arise and overshadow them when you begin to pray this prayer oh lord make me a mysterious wonder when men say that it is finished for you it is then your star will spring forth and begin to shine when you continue to pray this kind of prayer every exit you have from something becomes an entry point to something better and every loss becomes a gain and what others are calling a problem becomes a promotion for you and what others are calling disappointment becomes an appointment for your destiny that is the value of the prayer oh lord make me a mysterious wonder it means that god will lift you beyond explanation and will usher you into illogical testimonies and god will now make you a mystery and a wonder say oh god make me a mysterious wonder say oh god make me a positive sign oh god make me a divine mystery oh god make me a divine wonder oh god make me a divine phenomenon in the name of Jesus say oh God Allah and make me a mysterious wonder in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it now make me a mysterious wonder in Jesus name we pray those are the ten great prayers look at them very well make it something regular regular even if you are in some kind of challenge now make it regular you want to barricade yourself make it regular these are prayers that have brought people resource in scripture and when you want to pray to get results you pray biblically based prayers I know that somebody will be here this morning who will cry to the Lord and you get an instant reply <laughs> bow down your heads now pray the Lord that whatsoever will hinder you this morning everyone should write them off with the blood of Jesus talk, talk to the Lord now Amen we have plenty of prayers to pray here and we have few minutes to pray them don't worry about the wordings of the prayers you just pray them seriously and with power I'm going to pray with you first before I begin to ask you to pray let your amen be loud and clear as I pray now Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus Father we thank you for your mighty hand of power and strength we thank you because men may fail but you will never fail as many people as are gathered at this particular prayer meeting today I pray that any strong man has fine against the life of anyone here any strong man that does not want to let somebody go any strong man of embarrassment and shame no matter how strong the strong man is no matter where the strong man is coming from let the strong man be buried now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus power to pray your way to breakthrough receive it now receive it 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 in the name of Jesus 
you open your mouth in prayer this morning, let chaos go into the camp of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Aha. You are ready now. Don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow your voice. Plenty of prayer to pray in a few minutes. Plenty of prayer to pray in a few minutes. You cannot afford to keep quiet. And that can you afford to be sluggish now? Say, eyes of darkness are signed to monitor my life. We die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Masteti la katanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power taking my name to the coven. Die with the coven. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Aha. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, Allah, overthrow the wicked in my life. In the name of Jesus, command the wicked to be overthrown. Overthrow them, overthrow them. Aha. Jesus, then we pray. Every altar of darkness walking against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Deal with the altar of darkness. Jesus' name we pray. So every power challenging my moving forward. You are a liar. Say, in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Something is happening here this morning. The power of God. In the name of Jesus, move. In Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic wind blowing against my prosperity. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. That's Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, so, oh God of favor, appear in my life. In the name of Jesus, ask for the favor of God. Appear, 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 appear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every charm walking against my life. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus, such the charms are blazed. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus name we pray silence now you've
cry to heavens. You have already cried to heavens. Let that be silent. That woman over there, the children were initiated into witchcraft in order to divert your destiny. But beginning from this morning service, the gate of admission of those children into witchcraft has been closed forever. That person over there, at a dying person in your family who was confessing to witchcraft, mentioned that they had destroyed your life. Something has happened to you where you are standing. That which has been destroyed, you have recovered them all. That's the person over there. That's right. Ha. Ah. There are some people here this morning. The Lord said the problem is that your virtues have been buried. For right there where they are buried, wherever it is in the world, there is an angel that has been dispatched through the avenue of your prayers to recover those things that have been buried. And it's coming back to you. 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 Every program serpent, serpents in the chest, serpents in the womb, serpents in the backbone, serpents swallowing pregnancies, serpents swallowing blood. I address those serpents now by the power in the blood of Jesus. For it is written that as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Let these serpents now begin to depart and go back to their senders. In the name of Jesus. Silence, beloved. Let the serpents go. That's right. The serpent of infirmity under the armpit. The serpent of infirmity in the heart. The serpent of infirmity in the head. The serpent of infirmity in the intestine, in the kidney, in the liver, in the womb, in the legs. The serpent of infirmity. That place is not your habitation. Lose your hold now. Get out of that hiding place by the power and the blood of Jesus. That's the first person over there. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. That's number six. Check your body now. You find out that infirmity that you brought here has completely vanished. But we're still praying. We're still praying. I see a brother over there. They have been blocking your way all these years. But there is a command from heaven that they should let you go. And your way is open now in the name of Jesus. Aha. Say, dark chains. Let your voice be loud. Your time is up. Great. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dark chase. Your time is up. Break. You that person over there that you have been taken into the forest when you were having some troubles and you thought you were looking for a solution but they just mounted more problems on you right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and the problem the enemy has arranged against your life is being separated from you as a person over there. 
Father, anyone in this service now being remotely controlled by evil powers, let your power go to such people one by one, one by one, one by one, wherever they are, and begin to break the hold of this evil control. Break, break. Still going on. You, that woman over there. I command the spirit of your dead mother to come out of you now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, all the power of God coming upon you. The powers that have been diverting your money and stealing your prosperity. Something is happening right now. There is a separation between you and that evil power. Aha, aha. I told you. There's some awesome thing that's going to happen here today. You, the problem in the bone, receive the healing power of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Check your body now. If you brought any sickness here, and you find that the sickness has disappeared, I don't want the devil to put it back on you. Run quickly to the altar here, so that you can cover your miracle with the blood of Jesus. And affliction will not rise again. Come very quickly. That is, you check your body, you find that you brought a, a particular infirmity here that has vanished. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Advertise your power in my life. In the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Silence. There are some incisions between the two breasts of a woman here. Some incisions. The incisions have been troubling your destiny. Fire is coming upon those incisions so that they can let you go. Yeah, that's the power of God. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Things are happening here today. The power sitting on your document of miracle and your letter of miracle. I see them being uprooted now. Thank you, Jesus. Say, strong man of financial embarrassment. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Baseta la kaya boko shente la basa. Daria poli katanda la basanta. Opuya mato, opuya mato, opuya mato. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. There are some people here this morning. There is a satanic stronghold detaining and delaying your blessings. Once you pray this prayer, the prayer will connect you to the God of 24 hour breakthroughs. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every power delay my blessing 
Your time is up. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Pastor Piali Kata. The Ribostopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba. Makantanda Rabostopola Kaya Boko Shenteraba Santa. Just receive your 24 hours. Miracle, receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Uh huh. That's better. That's better. Yes. Whatsoever I've been introduced into the blood of anyone here spiritually and is now manifesting physically and causing you trouble. Right there where you are. The power of God is falling upon you. And that yoke is broken completely. Aha. Uh-huh. Every power assigned to put me to shame. Can I hear you saying that? Let your voice be louder than that. Let your voice be loud. Da! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray lay your right hand upon your head you will now shout this louder than anyone around my head be lifted up by fire in the name of Jesus Jesus, let me pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Are you tired? We still have plenty of prayers to pray. Father, we thank you for what you've done for these your children here. Cover the testimonies, the miracles of the blood of Jesus. Affliction will never rise in their lives anymore. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I sing this song loud and clear. As we sing this song three times, then we go back to our prayers now. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war. Is mercy and the order forever and ever. Oh, praise his own. One more time, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Jehovah, the man of war. 
Hallelujah. His mercy and the honor forever and ever. Oh, praise his God. For the last time now, thy God. I seek Jacobah is Jehovah, a man of God. It's my sweet, forever and ever, oh praise his holy Say this loud and clear. Every wicked grip upon my life. Loose your hold in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to command the wicked grip to be loosed. Aha, loose your hold. The wicked grip in Jesus' name we pray. Holy Ghost fire destroy garments of reproach in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God destroy the garment of reproach. In Jesus' name we pray. My stubborn enemy. Receive the arrow of shame in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say in a way that Herod does not understand. Oh God Allah, bring miracles into my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This prize for so many people here today. Say any grave power, any grave power, holding my testimonies, scatter in the name of Jesus. Deal with the grave powers. In Jesus name we pray. Every opposition to my laughter. Clear away. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. The old month of November. Hear the word of the Lord. Prosper in my life. In the name of Jesus. Cry to the month of November to prosper in your life. Jesus name we pray. Stretch forward your two hands now. Father, I decree here this morning that fire that burns away every garment of shame will begin to operate now. In the name of Jesus. I decree by the decree of heaven that every program of failure Fashioned against your destiny. Shut down. 
in the name of Jesus. Every plan of witchcraft against your life shall be shattered into pieces. In the name of Jesus. Every evil bird swallowing your virtues, the birds shall be arrested. They 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 shall be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow of poverty, go back to your standards. In the name of Jesus. Every strange dream, bringing strange problems, I cancel you now in the name of Jesus. This week, possess your testimony. Possess your possession. Possess your testimony. Possess your possession. Possess your testimony. Possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. And before this week runs to an end, you shall be candidate of uncommon miracles. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.